All right, Bobcat fans, Kyle Walker, Cody Farrell, head coach, Coach Strickland here, Josh Strickland. This is the opening drive sponsored by Roof Masters and uh, Sonic of Hall, local Sonic of Hallsville. We got, let's, coach, let's talk about a little bit about the Marshall game. Yeah. First half, I, we was all over them. Balanced both ways in the second half, we just kind of. Yeah, you know, it's one of those games where, you know, I knew going into that game that we were going to have to play really, really well. Now, I don't, I didn't think we were going to have to play in a way that was above what we were capable of playing to win the game, but I thought that we were going to have to play really, really well, play mistake free, and then be able to stop the run a little bit to give our offense a chance to get back on the field. Um, I mean, you know, we started off, you know, they drove down and scored. We took the ball, scored. We got a three and out, or I, don't know, I know we held them. And then we take the ball right back down and score and take a lead early in the game. Um, now, through that, you know, we did some things that we haven't done, you know, reverse, throwback pass. Now, we had some we had some things in there to try to slow them down a little bit. Um, but, you know, right before the half, they got the momentum. When you look at it, the two games that we won in a row – we were the team that drove down there and got points right before the half. That's a big deal. If you can if you can get points right right before the half, that, that's a big deal. And you know, as far as momentum goes. Yeah, I thought I thought that exactly right. First half we was we, we moved the ball. The, the, the play call was great. I think what got us in the second half was turnovers again. Yeah. Uh, Jace, Jace did a great job the first half picking his guys. Elijah ran the ball well, and I know he was a little bit nicked up. Right. And I know the second half he didn't come back out. And that that hurt us quite a bit. Yeah, and it's and it's not like you know even in the first half I thought they did a pretty good job stopping the run. Um, you know Elijah had eight carries for twenty three yards in the first half only, but when he's back there, it changes the mindset. It really does. I think on both sides it really does. Um, but you know we turned the ball. We had, you know kind of had a little miscommunication on a route, turned the ball over, um, and we may have had a third and four where they came across and made contact. And we didn't get it, but I yeah. Know. Let's talk about the penalty situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a, Coach was very – he got very theatrical uh, yeah. at, in that segment. Uh, do we have <laughs> Do we have bulletproof headsets? Because <laughs> yeah. them suckers has been flying, <laughs> flung around and beat uh, up. And that, that, I, that, those headsets are good headsets. <laughs> now, by no means did that one thing have anything to do. We did not play well enough to win. Let's, let's say that right now. But, yeah, I got, I got a little theatrical like – Coach Farrell said. Now I will. I, I do want to kind of hit on something because you can. Everyone looks at the score and sees all that, but there's a lot of great things that are happening. And one of the things that I've seen is a pretty dang active defensive line. Yeah. You want to talk about them and kind of the pressure that they've been creating, especially in the passing game. And yeah, the passing game we have. We now I think we're up to like 28, 29 sacks on the year, oh, wow. um, and we've still only been sacked like five times for us. Now. Jace helps with that, right? Um, but as far as the defensive line is concerned, they are very active. Um, every Monday, we start practice off with eight minutes of, and I say eight minutes, five to eight minutes of putt, what we call putt, pass under pressure. Right. First defense versus first offense, and that's how we start every Monday off. And that's been great for both sides of the ball. Um, our defensive line does get after the passer, and they have, they have a motor, um, you know, we need, we need to bulk up a little bit so they, those big, big guys can't lean on us a little bit in the run game. But passing game-wise, man, they, they are very active and they, they get after it. They have done a great job this year rushing the passion, freeing your linebackers up. Yeah. All right, now let's talk about this coming week. Yep. Yeah. I've been fired up about it all year. There's no secret. It's pine stinking tree, and I'm going to say that till I die. I thought this, so this is the Michigan, Ohio State, you know, they don't say the team up north, so we, yeah. we're saying yeah. pine tree. Pine stinking tree. Okay, okay. At the back when, even back when I went to school here, that was a, a huge rivalry. Right. Is it still the same rivalry than when? And I know when you went to school here, it was a big rivalry. Both <laughs> yes, of you yes guys. sir. It, yeah, was it was big for all of us. Is it still that same fire the kids have? I, th I think it is. I've heard it. You know, I, I hear the name of our opponent throughout the week from our players some, but I mean, I've heard it a lot more this week. Um, everybody knows. Um, as a coach, how you deal with that is, you know, there's there's something how you deal with that. You have to understand how it's out there. The kids understand that. But you also have to make sure that we're focused on the task at hand that we don't let the rivalry become the distraction. Right. Let the rivalry be the motivation. Don't let it be a distraction. You know what I'm saying? So you you, you got to control that during the week. You, you don't want any 
what do they call it, bulletin board material for the other team. But yeah, you want I'm your like, guys like to you're, be like you're giving them right now. <laughs> <laughs> I would never. Do, I, I, I talked about that all all week. No, I'm kidding. On the uh, baseball, volleyball. You know, yeah, I yeah. told one of the baseball coaches, the new guys. He, I introduced myself and introduced him. I said. If you lose to Pine Trail, you're, you're done. And, and, and I'm just letting you know, Coach, I, I've known you a long time. Yeah. I won't talk to you for at least a week, two weeks if something bad happens. But there is a trophy that, that goes along with winning it. And, right. And, and we haven't had here. Cody, we was talking about this earlier. It's been uh, four or five. I think the six years ago was the last time it was here. Well, it's time to bring the trophy back to oh, the house. I agree, man. I agree. And, and what what is it going to take to bring that trophy back to the house? You know, for us, I don't. Again, I don't think we have to go out there and do something that be somebody we're not. Um, I think it's going to come down to um, us being able. To, we got to run the football offensively. Uh, we have to be able to do that. Um, you know, Jace does a good job in the passing game. Matter of fact, he set the single season passing record for Hallsville last week uh, in a season, and so he does a good job kind of doing that back there. We have to get the running game going. And then defensively, what they're going to do is, you know, they're going to put a you know a tight end wing, double tight. They're going to do some things back there that we have to be able to stop the run better than what we have been. So, so they're a run heavy offense is what the pine tree is. Yeah, they like to. They have they have a they have a big quarterback back there, and he can throw it a little. He can throw it pretty well. He really can. Um, but yeah, I mean, just like us, they want to get the run game going too. Can we get one real quick one in? And I know uh, yeah. late in the season, just kind of talk about the heart of your team. Where where are they at? The motivation. Because uh, I think I think that's one thing that I've seen you guys do that they always fight. Just talk about that for a second. Yeah, you know, I think the whole heart of the team is the fact that they've all bought in and they understand that this play is not going to kill us the rest of the game. You know, it was the mindset going in that we're not going to let one thing affect the next, and every play we're going to fight you. All right. All right, Bobcat fans, this has been cut out of the open drive with head coach Josh Trekling, Cody Farrell, sponsored by Roof Masters and our local. Sonic Drive-In. Thank you so much, and go Bobcats. Go Bobcats.